Cabinet Secretary for Defense Rachel Omamo has assured ministers of defense and security of the East African region of Kenya's commitment to the full operationalization of the Eastern Africa Standby Force. Omama said the force would play an important role in ensuring peace and stability when deployed to areas experiencing political and social upheavals, including threats by terrorists. And as our senior reporter Patrick Omam Amimo rather reports, the government today donated 86 million shillings to the African Peace Fund for the strengthening of the African standby force. Ministers of Defense and Security and Chiefs of Defense staff from 10 member states of the Eastern Africa region converged at the International Peace Support Training Center in Kare, Nairobi to strategize on peace and security. Countries in the region have over the years experienced political and social instability that has often resulted in death, distortion of property and disruption of peaceful coexistence. For instance, the African Union has okayed deployment of troops from the Eastern Africa region to Somalia to root out Al-Shabaab militia and ensure peace and stability. Troops from member states have been holding field training exercises and command post exercises to test readiness. Any threat to human peace and security is a major impediment to economic and social development. Recent challenges to peace in South Sudan and the threat to security posed by terrorist groups such as Al-Shabaab attest to this. At State House Nairobi, President Uhuru Kenyatta donated 86 million shillings to the Africa Peace Fund for the strengthening of the African standby force. Participants here are keen to ensure African states develop military capacity of dealing with conflicts internally and stop over-reliance on foreign interventions. Africa cannot wait for 2015 without taking military action in event of crisis. AMISOM today is the flagship mission of the Africa Union and indeed with the recent announcement of the troop levels it is one of the largest missions in the world. We look forward to your contribution to AMISOM next military operation which we expect to begin in earnest in the next few weeks. It is our expectation that Eastern Africa Standby Force will be at par with other standby forces. ESF demonstrated that it is capable of deploying a multinational force consisting of pledged units from the member countries. That is exactly what a standby force should be able to do. Recently, the US government called on the Ugandan government to withdraw its troops from South Sudan after IGAD approved deployment of 5,500 troops to maintain peace. Uganda's chief of defense General Katumba Wamala says though Ugandan troops are in South Sudan on invitation from President Salva Kiir, they have not taken sides in the conflict. Why should the island of peace which has been created now, where we see Juba coming back uh, in shape, where we see the, even the, the government getting back to function, why should that island of peace give somebody sleepless nights in an, a capital far away miles from Juba? Why don't they, why don't they take the opinion and ask the South Sudanese themselves what they see and what they want. The Eastern Africa Standby Force is expected to be operational by mid next year. It is a homegrown strategy to monitor, prevent and resolve conflicts in the region. Patrick Amimo, KTN, Nairobi.